Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Friday, TGIF, and it's still cool out. 59 degrees this morning here in Oldsmar. What the heck's up with that? This cold weather came in, and it has not left. I hope you're enjoying that. Uh, weird, right? We were just talking hundreds not too long ago. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so we're going to talk about the tropics a little bit. TD-12 was gone. That was that little guy way out in the Atlantic. No biggie, right? Uh, we got TD-13 we're going to talk about. This is tropical uh, depression 13. Could be a hurricane nearing uh, Central America. And it could sneak into the Bay of Campeche. we got to watch that. But uh, thanks for coming to my YouTube channel here. I uh, appreciate the likes and shares and uh, s subscribers on YouTube. We're trying to get our, our page to grow a little bit here. And I will be doing weather uh, throughout the winter. I love winter weather and spring weather and all weather. <laughs> All right, so here's the scoop. Here's the latest graph on TD13. All right, and uh, we got a big high pressure, pretty solid uh, steering pattern here. High pressure locked in across the top of it, and it's blowing those uh, clockwise winds. Uh, my aero skills are not really good this morning. Uh, blowing those winds to the west. Uh, not, you know, a lot, a lot of. When this first came out, a lot of people were worried it had the same look as Ian as far as location. Uh, the good news, at least for the states, of course, is that this uh, has a different steering pattern above, and, and we don't have that weakness allowing it to curve up towards Florida right now. So, so that's why it's going west. There's a high pressure. We do have a hurricane uh, expected for Nicaragua, and uh, bringing some heavy rains towards Central America, Honduras, need to watch that. So hurricane, yes, this weekend, yes. Uh, they're definitely watching down there. We have a lot of people down there, so thanks for watching our page. Uh, heavy rain, it'll be a heavy rainmaker. Guaranteed foot feet of rain, big, big issue always. I think the current wind speeds are now predicted to be somewhere around um, uh, 85. Some strengthening though. Latest H wharf here shows a, a good little window that this thing could try to develop into something more than 85 miles an hour. H wharf does very well. See, right now it's coming off uh, South America, not a lot of uh, chance for organization, but it, the H wharf really ramps it up into a 970 and 960 millibar system. And that's pretty strong. It's definitely, the Caribbean waters are still super duper hot down there. Ocean heat content, very warm. Uh, so, you know, it'll have a little window to develop. So keep an eye out for that. Where does it go after that? Well, tricky, 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 tricky. So here's the latest spaghetti models on Tropical Tidbits. Uh, we got some new ones coming out soon. But we're starting to see this little bit of gradual pull into the bay here. And that's been showing up. I've been talking about it a lot. Uh, we've had two schools of thought, some west, some getting pulled up. There is a week in front coming in. Uh, a week front, <laughs> a front next week. It's not a week front, uh, and you can see that right here. This is next uh, Thursday. You can see it coming down. Uh, this is going to create a little weakness here and allow a little bit of pull northward. It's pretty good looking front. I mean, it's actually making its way through Florida. This is a week from next week, next Friday, the 14th. So this little front could create a little weakness, allow whatever to, to move up. Sometimes these have a lot of wind shear, but historically. Um, you know, we've seen storms cross over here in early October and potentially be something. So it's, it's very, very, very low chance right now, but it is showing up on a few ensembles. Uh, enough to mention, okay? Nothing to worry about at all. It's just consistently showing up. It's potentially pulling up into the bay, and the bay is still very warm. Temperature, water temperature is still in the, in the 80s, uh, 83, 84 range. Um, in fact, let's take a look at that real quick. I always like to... To make sure uh, that I was correct, so let's see data values here. We'll go to sea surface temperature. We'll zoom into the Gulf and the Bay here, and yeah, it's warm. It's 85, 86, 84. So still very, 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 very warm down there. Some of the ensembles are showing. All right, let's show you this real quick. Uh, spaghetti models that I just showed in this uh, intensity charts. These are all on tropicaltidbits.com. Um, and uh, you can see this is the strength of our system increasing as it makes landfall. So it's definitely getting a lot of support for hurricane. Notice the, the weakening over land as expected. But this is the part that's you know, a little curious. You know, this, this models are starting to show, well, you know, if it comes back into the bay, 
could have a little chance to to reform that um that's what we're going to kind of watch nothing nothing solid on it i do put all, everything out there for people to see here's some of the ensembles on the euro there's just a couple one or two bring it back northeast you know there's 51 ensembles there's only one or two so it's very low but it's enough to mention for sure there's our front um let's take a look at weather nerds another way to look at it here on the ensemble map you can see um <clears throat> our system two schools of thought we have some going west in the pacific some going north getting pulled up and you know some of them just hit a roadblock go back south and then we have those couple that kind of come across so gfs ensembles i might as well show them not a big fan of gfs but still uh one or two gfs are showing it too so that's kind of it um you know we'll keep an eye on it very low low chances right now but for you all that like to track long range and, and the what ifs there you go uh the other things that i got to pop up here real quick we got temperatures it's cool as heck out there like i mentioned we got another cold front coming down this weekend check this out this is sunday we got 30s and 40s dipping way into georgia and northern alabama 30s uh, we should have freezing temps in the Smokies this weekend, Saturday, Sunday. So there's a big old blast of cold air uh, coming. As far as rain goes, uh, things are quiet today and tomorrow. Sunday, our frontal line down here in South Florida starts to back up. And uh, that's an old front that's backing up. So Sunday, the rain chances are up for the peninsula. Uh, you really see that front coming down midweek next week. Let's show you. It's starting to brew about right there. You see it. It's merging with an old front, and there's our new front. This is Thursday. So you can just kind of see the rain chances as that next front pulls out, uh, pushes through Florida next Friday. So pretty quiet during the week. Front coming down, sucking up our old front, which you can see um, uh, right here. This is the one I'm talking about. This is the front that backs up right here. It's kind of another front, I guess. I don't know. A little bit of backs up. But that's our rain chances increase on Sunday down in South Florida. And then our next biggie front comes in um, the end of next week. I did post this. I've been down to um, uh, Rotunda West this week. I went down there yesterday. This is where I rode out the storm. Um, and it was terrible. I mean, I, I, I had to go back. I wanted to see it because... Uh, we were there, and uh, this this area was the northern Iowa wall. It wasn't even uh, all the news is obviously covering the big surge, Fort Myers area. Uh, but this was on the northern Iowa wall around Inglewood, and uh, just amazing. I mean, you can't even put into words. Uh, shocking, I guess I should say. Uh, yeah, almost every house has got pretty significant damage. Um, and you know, this, this is what you see a fifth. 50 to 100 mile radius of, of the eye. Uh, every street that I went up and down uh, in Inglewood and Fort Myers uh, all has similar scenes of debris and, and roof damage and garages blown in and campers on their side and pool cages gone. I mean, it, it's widespread. You know, this one, again, this is where we drove during the storm, so it meant a lot to me. A lot of these folks stayed behind. A lot of these folks are fans of our page that actually uh, been writing to us. So they wrote it out. And they knew I was there, so they, they were, um, you know, wanted me to go back and at least bring some awareness to their area that got hit so hard. So that's on YouTube if you want to take a look at it. So, all right, so that's it. Uh, Tile Depression 12 is gone. Uh, TD 13 could be Julia soon. And, of course, Honduras and Nicaragua and Central America are watching for heavy rain. And then maybe something in the Bay sneaking in next week to watch. Maybe. Small chance, but chances there not not a hundred percent it's not gonna happen <laughs> all right so there you go have a great day uh maybe we'll do one tomorrow i don't know depending on the weather but i you know we'll do in our uh daily live here in a little bit and um you know if anything changes i'll definitely post here on facebook and of course youtube so have a great day bye